Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here on the Freedom Farm. I hope your Thanksgiving went wonderfully. Because this will probably be going up after Thanksgiving. So the plan for today is to get this dog. Thank you. To feed the other animals that I forgot to feed. Um, and the plan for the day is the tea party. The Zephyr party. Uh, the Zephyr Town Tea Party. I can words. We are not bringing matcha. We are bringing regular green tea. So there are our five star potatoes. We aren't going to be able to uh, replant those. Really? You saw me holding right, because he turned he turned right. Well, he turned to his left, but he turned right. And so why wasn't... I don't know. Anyway, so we're not going to be, be able to replant those potato seeds, so it doesn't really matter when they're done. So I can just go ahead and put all eight in at the same time. And I believe... Let's see... Yeah, I think this is probably going to be the last tea harvest of the season, so I'm going to want to save a couple of those tea leaves. So the other plan for today is that this will be a short episode, and uh, while I do apologize for that, you know, it is kind of necessary because I am recording this Thanksgiving morning, and uh, the butter, the butter flake rolls that I had planned on making, and I don't know why I'm doing this fertilizer now. That doesn't really make much sense, but anyway. So to make butter flake rolls, you need yeast, because rolls are a yeast bread. They're not a quick bread. Um, my sister does not have any yeast around the house, but we had talked about her picking up the yeast while we were at the store, but we didn't really settle on that. I thought we had settled on that. But I was wrong. And as a result, um, nobody picked up the yeast. And so I can't make, I couldn't make the butter flake rolls. It was decided last night that instead of butter flake rolls, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be bringing along biscuits. Fortunately, there's also no buttermilk. So instead, I'm going to be making yogurt flake biscuits, which I'm hoping that they turn out well. Thankfully, uh, my sister thought ahead, and she got some backup rolls, just in case I screwed up. I... I had actually expressed concern about screwing up with the rolls, and she said, okay, we'll just get some backup rolls, don't worry about it, and then it, we'll have something if, if they turn out perfectly fine, and... Well, obviously they didn't turn out perfectly fine, so... We're bringing rolls and biscuits. Well, I'm bringing rolls and biscuits. And summer sausage and cheese. Yo. Yo. My sister, my little sister, is bringing over half of Thanksgiving dinner herself, plus desserts. Moltres is almost at five stars. Nice. So I'll let you know how it goes. And, uh, did I wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving? Well, that you, that you have had a happy Thanksgiving, because I suppose you're probably going to be seeing this after Thanksgiving, since this is going up on the main channel on Friday, on Family Day. Um, so yes, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving, and if you are not from America, my deepest condolences. Actually, you know what? If he likes wool, I'm all for that. Ooh, for me? Thanks. That was a very expensive gift! Hey, Ray. What are you up to, taking a break from work? What are you up to, hiding in the bushes, snooping on Antoinette? You know what would be cool? Is if... Time didn't pass while you were in Amiko's shrine. Mm. Oh, sorry. I was lost in thought. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. What is it? There's nothing here for you. 
Because, yeah, in old Harvest Moon games, time did not pass while you were indoors. And I think that actually changed with Grand Bazaar. It might have been Sunshine Islands, but anyway. Um... Yeah, in older Harvest Moon games, time didn't pass while you were indoors. Time passed a lot faster while you were out of outside um, than it does in this game. But yeah, time did not pass while you were indoors. And um, it would be kind of cool if they brought that back, but only for Emiko Shrine. I could show something off. I think I'm going to. Just because this is going to be a short episode, so I might as well. Anyway. So, let's see if I can actually do this. Three. That might count. Nope. Three. Four. Five. So, if you manage to get a five combo, and for every five combo thereafter of jumping on the animals, uh, you regain a little bit of stamina. I don't think that it actually counts against your friendship with them either, so... Hey, if you've got plenty of extra time in the day... There's something you can... you can use it on. Oh, that's right, we need to check, uh, birthdays. Oh, that's right, Felix's birthday is summer 1st. And Wilbur... Do we ever figure out what Wilbur likes? No, we didn't. Hmm. I guess I'll try giving him some cheese. See if he likes that. Because he likes similar things to Felix, right? To this day, I still don't know if animal product quality is determined the morning of or when you harvest it. So I don't know if there's any benefit to talking to and brushing and whatnot the animals before you harvest rather than just whenever. And that would be a very annoying thing to test. It's much easier to stethoscope all the chickens when they're in here. I think what might be a good idea would be for me to wait until uh, the cats bring the chickens in, bring the chickens back in before I stethoscope them. And this way I'm not playing that cup game. You know what? This actually might be the last strawberry harvest. Well, I mean, we will have that one. The second to last one, but as far as this one goes, let's see. Two star. Unfortunate. I didn't save the spring tea leaves. Well, hopefully there'll be one more harvest. I think there will be on Sunday, but... I, I don't know for sure. Busy. Don't work too hard. Have some asparagus. Oh, for me? Thanks. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Oh, Ray. Hello. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. Do I have all of your recipes that you sell in spring? Is that a, is that a question you can answer? Well, I'll have some tea, though. Mmm. Delicious. Thank you, John. You getting good exercise on your farm? Exercise is important. Ha ha ha! Thanks for thinking of me! I think that means he likes cheese. Hello, Ray. How are you? How are you? I, I screwed that up. Yeah, I think that means that he likes cheese, so... Yes! Nice! Doesn't really have an effect right now. When we start going for uh, Suffolk sheep and Jersey cows, it's going to be nice. And we should, by the time uh, Enrique starts selling those, um, our dog should be capable of taking care of all of them. What? Oh, it's you. Are you just wandering around? You must be pretty bored. For me? Wow, not bad. Thanks. So now Antoinette is up to orange heart level. No, uh, no additional heart events for her, though. And we will not be marrying her. We're just toying with her heart, is all. Before we go any further, 
I just want to remind you to do all that YouTube algorithm stuff everyone's always bragging about. The like and the subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Please don't forget to do that. Also, if you're watching this within probably about two hours of it going live, that means that I am currently streaming on this streaming channel, and a link to that would be will be in the description below. And so I would appreciate it if you would stop by and say hello. Well, I see we have some turnips. Ooh, and some cucumbers. Two and a half stars. No, still just two stars. Well, crap baskets. All of my hopes and dreams were for naught. Both the cucumbers and the strawberries. All my animals always hiding from me when all I want to do is say hello. Give them a brushy brush brush. Well, I don't give them a brushy brush brush when... <laughs> that cow is just vibing. Okay, so you don't like regular clumps of wool. Do you like balls of wool? Oh, for me? Thanks. Do you have any idea how expensive that gift was? Father works so hard for every festival. Wow, I really like this. Thank you. Today's the tea party. Did you bring some tea? Yes. Great! Let's get started! Thanks for coming! Joan has organized this wonderful tea time with tea and snacks for us. Actually, I just made the snacks. Ray is the one who provided the tea. Enjoy, everyone. Thank you so much for your help today, Ray. Here, please take this. Let's do this again next year. And we can go ahead and have some, uh, some apple pie with our tea today. Mmm. Delicious. If we do get gold from any future river dives, we're probably going to want to save it for making accessories. Just because the gold itself is not all that impactful. And, uh, well, the accessories are. So I'm sorry for having another short episode, but the day of the recording of this episode is Thanksgiving, so a lot of stuff to do. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you later. Bye.